For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Worthy is to be praised and exalt the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is named above all names at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and confess that Jesus is Lord. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. Even though in an empty farmer's market still to be preached about Jesus, that Jesus saves, and only Jesus saves, it is well pleasing to God when Jesus is exalted. It doesn't please God when you got the devil's music. The praise and honor belongs to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The salvation set forth through and by Jesus Christ alone. That Jesus Christ is able and will save your soul. That Jesus Christ is the gift of God. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. That for God so loved the world, the love of God. And everybody wants the love of God. For God so loved the world that he gave charity. Charity gave. God gave. The gift of God's eternal life. God is giving. God is loving. And the gift of life. The gift of eternal life. The gift. Is Jesus Christ. The gift of eternal life of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And without Jesus Christ, you'll perish. Perish is to be thrown out. To be cast out into the incinerator. And the incinerator of God is hell. And there is a hell. And you'll go to hell without faith and belief in Jesus Christ. The Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Jesus came to seek that which is lost. And when you have not put your faith and trust in Jesus, you're lost. You're on a way to the devil's hell. Because you have not put your faith and trust in Jesus. It's so simple to go to heaven. Believe. On the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is to be honored above all honor. Where a farmer's market in Daytona Beach tries to play music and tries to get the police to stop the preaching. Of Jesus Christ. That the preaching of Jesus offends us. And that when all the world is gone, when we're in the eternal life, and there'll be no farmer's market and no money, there is and will be the heaven, New Jerusalem, or the lake of fire. And those who have not put their faith and trust in Jesus go into the lake of fire. That's the second death. 
And those that do put their faith and trust in Jesus go off into New Jerusalem. Eternal life before an almighty God. A life of peace and joy. Everlasting joy. No pain, no sorrow. No more death, no more sin. No more corruption, no more violence. That's what heaven's like. Nothing goes rotten in heaven. Nothing goes sour. There is no curses. There's no hospital. There's no medical needs in glory through Jesus Christ. You'll never die. You'll never have a hospital. You'll never need 911 in heaven. That's all done. All the old things are passed away. God says, Behold, I'll make new things. Make a new heaven, a new earth, a new Jerusalem, even a new name. By faith and belief in Jesus Christ. Jews will not have to worry about Hamas dropping missiles and weapons on them. All the enemies of Israel will be put down into hell. The Bible says about those that curse Israel, God will curse them. And they that bless Israel will be blessed. No, Israel are God's people, not Americans. Israel. That Jesus Christ is Jewish. He's not American. He's not European. He's born of the tribe of Judah, Judah and of Israel. His mom was Jewish. His mom belonged to the tribe of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Judah. You better have the Jesus that created. You better have the Jesus that was virgin born. You better have a Jewish Jesus. Any other Jesus, the Bible says, there's another Jesus. And that another Jesus can't save your soul. You got to have the Jesus that's God. And the God that's Jesus. And you've got to have the Jesus that had the blood of God through his veins that was spilt upon Calvary's cross. By the blood of God, the precious blood of God, without spot, without sin, is able to save your soul. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Are you washed in the blood of Jesus? I didn't ask if you were washed in baptism water. I didn't ask if you were washed in, in, a, in a certificate of church attendance. I asked if you washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing time? Have you come to God? And you come to God through Jesus Christ. The Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. The Bible says only by Jesus Christ can a man be saved. The Bible says that Jesus Christ is the blessed hope. And without Jesus Christ, you're the blessed dope. The fool has said in his heart that there is no God. Plain and simple. He that has the Son, Jesus Christ, hath everlasting life. He that has not the Son, Jesus Christ, shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him, and the wrath of God is hell. That's H-E-L-L. -L. And without faith and belief in Jesus, you'll go to hell. And if you don't want to go to hell, put your faith and trust in Jesus. I didn't say go to church. I didn't say give money. Imagine a Baptist preacher getting up saying, no church and no money. Because that's not going to save your soul. But if thou shalt believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. That's what saves. There are people in hell that went to church. There are people in hell that were baptized. But nobody's in hell that put their faith and trust in Jesus. Simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. 
and thou shalt be saved. Simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Salvation is wrought by God, and God is Jesus Christ. And God's not willing that any should perish, but that you come to Jesus and put your faith and trust in Jesus. The Bible says to Christians, go all the world and preach the gospel. You don't tell Christians, come to church. He says, preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's what saved. That's what Daytona Beach Farmers Park has been trying to call the cops to shut the preacher up. Tell that preacher to shut up about Jesus. We don't want to hear about Jesus. I tell you, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and profess that Jesus is the Lord. That there is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. I'll exalt and lift up the name of Jesus. I'll give all honor and praise to Jesus. He saved my soul. April 25th, 1987. Jesus Christ saved my soul. He brought me out of the Catholic Church and brought me into salvation. The Catholics couldn't save me. There's no hope in the Pope. But Jesus saves. I came out of religion. He came into Jesus. I've been on fire ever since. April 25th, 1987, I trusted Jesus Christ as my Savior. April 26th, 1987, I began preaching about hell. You're not going to shut this preacher up. This preacher will go on exalting Jesus. By the power of God and the Constitution of the United States of America will I preach Jesus. And even there wasn't a Constitution, I'll still preach Jesus. Nothing better than Jesus. Step up with a microphone and tell me what is better than Jesus in your life. Jesus Christ, salvation is free. Tell me how much your beer is free. Tell me about your free tobacco that will ruin your lungs and waste your money. Tell me about your alcohol that destroys your liver and destroys your family, where Jesus destroys nothing, but Jesus gives life. Where Jesus gave me the victory over alcohol, and he gave me the victory over tobacco, and gave me the victory over drugs. The world put me under tobacco, the world put me under drugs, and the world put me under alcohol. Jesus set me free and put my name down in the last book of life, and when I die, I know I'll be before Jesus. To be absent from the body and present with the Lord. I know. And it don't cost me a thing. It's all free. It cost Jesus upon Calvary. 